I'll let you know we could see some thunder showers in the forecast coming up later on. Welcome back. Tracy Zeller joins us this morning. We're talking spring cleaning for jewelry. Perfect topic. Yes, <laughs> I love it. Uh, we're so anxious for spring, and it's a great time to think of include your jewelry in your spring cleaning routine. Yes, for this, sure. This is the time. Yeah, I think a lot of people are like literally cleaning their homes and maybe going through their dressers and going, "Oh yeah, I forgot about this jewelry sitting back here." And there may be jewelry that you haven't worn all winter long, but you're wanting to get that out, and wear it with particular outfits and that kind of thing, and you discover it needs a good inspection and cleaning. Oh yes, yes. Okay, well let's start off the top talking about um, having like a professional jeweler look at look at your jewelry, have it clean. How often does that need to happen? Yes. Really, clients should have their jewelry professionally cleaned at least three times a year. And you can come in every single week and have it clean and inspected, but at a very minimum three times a year. And then in addition to that, lots of times clients can bring their items in, bring all your jewelry in, and we'll teach you how to clean each one of those. We'll give you an overall inspection mm -hmm. um, and see if there's any stones that are loose, prongs that need to be um, fixed. Also, too, sometimes uh, you may get out a necklace that you haven't worn since last summer oh, and yeah. discover that it needs a clasp replaced or that kind of thing. So this is the perfect time to bring those items in, have them clean and inspected, and we'll teach you which ones really need to be professionally clean and which ones you can do in between times. Okay. Because not all stones can go in an ultrasonic or be cleaned with uh, certain t um, types of cleaners. You know, I, I have heard over the years of people cleaning their jewelry with toothpaste. Oh, yes. Toothpaste has an abrasive in it and it'll scratch gold and silver. And also, too, with all the new chemicals that are in there with tartar control and that kind of thing, those can be harmful to stones now. That's good to know. Don't use your toothpaste. Don't use toothpaste. <laughs> okay, so let's say you, you go to get your your jewelry professional clean, but in between, let's say you have a, a platinum ring with a stone in it. That's different. The solution you use for that is different than sterling silver. Or Absolutely. There are different cleaners for different metals, different cleaners for different stones. So there's a variety of those that we have, and we'll teach you how to use each one of those. And what's really interesting is there's some. Um, things to consider. For instance, the liquid cleaner that yes. comes in a jar. That's your basic jewelry cleaner. And I tell clients, use that until you can't see the bottom of the jar anymore. And then it's just really too dirty because what's happening is dirt is really leaving the jewelry uh -huh. when it's in there and soaking and it is contaminating the liquid. And we also have toothbrushes that we offer our yeah, clients right and they have our name on them. <laughs> so that won't, you won't get mixed up uh, in using that also. Now just the opposite are our polishing cloths. And that's here. Exactly. So there are different polishing cloths for different metals. And a polishing cloth for gold, for instance, has a compound in it called rouge. And that rouge yeah. is actually a black substance. So as you're cleaning your gold and the cloth turns black, it really isn't residue that's coming off of the necklace so much as the rouge reacting with the gold and actually polishing it. So those claws can be used until they are just coal black. That's a polishing, so cool. Yes, a gold polishing cloth and a silver polishing cloth maybe uh, last, will last two or three years and it'll appear to be very dirty okay. but in fact it is the rouge compound that's polishing the material so that's a good thing. Yeah. So just the opposite so we like to teach our clients that. And there's different polishing cloths for different metals. If you use a gold polishing cloth on your sterling silver, then right. it's, there's, there is a cross-contamination and that can really be harmful the next time you go to polish your gold and vice versa with the sterling silver. Okay, so different cloths for different types. Yeah, definitely get it checked out. Come see you, see what stones, you know, which, which jewelry needs to be cleaned which way. Yes. Okay, good advice. Spring cleaning, get it done. Morning headlines up next.